Welcome to Celebrity Spotlight Radio, and I am happy to announce Frederick Wiseman, who is a documentary filmmaker who directed a film called Marodia, uh, Indiana. Fantastic film, and, and the way I welcome to the show, and the way Thank you. I like to see a film is I don't read any reviews, uh, any articles. I like to just go into the film fresh, and. The first 10 minutes of the film, I just fell in love with the scenery. I was like intrigued by it. And I didn't know where you were going at it uh, with the film, but knowing the title of the film, I wanted to know, how did you come up with the name? Just Well, it's the name of the town. Right. And how did I find the town? Uh, I told a friend of mine that I, who teaches law in Boston that I wanted to make a movie about a small town in the Middle West. And, she said she had a friend whose family uh, lived in the same small town in Indiana for six generations. And by chance, I was going to Bloomington, Indiana, where this man taught uh, a few weeks later. And I called him up and said, told him what I wanted to do. He said, come out a day early, and I'll take you to the town where my family has lived since the beginning of the 19th century. So I did, and I met his cousin. and told her uh, what I wanted to do. She was the town undertaker, so she knew everybody. Uh, and uh, she introduced me around, and sort of, uh, so she vouched for me, and so that it made it easy. Uh, people, people were very friendly and accepting. And how, did, how long did it take you to? 10 weeks to shoot and a year to edit. Wow, wow. Now, looking, watching the film myself, um, I know it, it. You know, people uh, are talking about politics and stuff like that. I'm not really, uh, you know, in tune to politics. But coming from the election of 2016 and knowing about it, um, when I saw your film, it it was a learning curve for me because all of a sudden I understood why Trump became president just by watching your film and. Uh, not that I'm saying I'm a Republican or Democrat. Um, was that your intention uh, uh, when you first started? Well, uh, you know, I didn't think about, you know, say, uh, explaining why Trump became president. Uh, but I, I, I was interested, I mean, I, w one, but not, certainly not the sole reason I was interested in making a movie about the small town of the Midwest was to get a sense of what uh, people who lived in that town were like. This town happened to vote 65% for Trump. Yes, that, you know, that, that I know. Uh, I did a little research on that, on, on numbers. And, but was it just the town or the Well, whole it was area? the idea of doing a small town. The idea of doing a small town in a region of the country where I hadn't worked before was what attracted me. Now, I loved the fact that you went to the local businesses around the area and uh, you took a, a footage on, on different type like the hair salon, the grocery store, uh, the farmers, uh, and, you, and you didn't stay too long in, in, in that area, uh, which I loved. And then you went to the town council and, and I love the fact that they were debating Right. They have real issues. They, they I mean, really it's democracy at, right. at, at its basic level, uh, a town council meeting. Yeah. Now, the population is, what, 1,063 around there? Yeah, around, yeah, yeah around. Now, the, the only thing, uh, there was a discussion about population growth right. and business growth. Right. And they were arguing the fact that, well, let's keep the population the same, but they wanted to grow the business. Right. And how... Let's say I was a business owner. I, w I went to that town. I won't open a business unless there were people moving in. Right. Isn't that common sense? Yeah, that, that's common sense. But so how? how <laughs> well, there, and, and there were people on the town council who wanted more people to move in, and there were people who were opposed to it. 
yeah. and I wanted to keep the town the way it was. And so that that was the interesting thing. That's why I chose that section right. of the town council meeting to use in the film, because I, you know, it was an important issue for the town. Now the area of the farming where I saw the pigs being, I, I believe they were being marked. Now, they were being marked. Uh, they were being marked because those are the pigs they were going to take, take off to be slaughtered. Take off to be slaughtered there. And I, love, I don't know how you did it, but when you were filming the cows, they looked straight at the camera. Well, I, <laughs> you know, I speak cow. Yeah, uh, like almost like they, they knew they were, that you were there and you were filming. And it, it's just... Yeah, uh, it's, the cows looked at the camera, but the people didn't, which is nice. Right. Is that, yeah, it's kind of weird. But I kind of felt sorry for them in a way, you know, because I'm a sustainable fil you know, filmmaker. So I deal in, you know, going green and, and film right. and so on. So I was trying to, in your film, you did have somebody, um, I, I can't remember her name. She had owned a business and uh, she's talking about dieting. It was, she was at one of the fairs. Oh yeah, she was, well, yeah, she, she was selling some medic okay. medicine made, or made from hemp, hemp. as a cure-all right. right. for every, almost every disease. And I have friends in the in Indiana that actually they do tower gardens. Uh, they grow their own food and stuff, yeah. and stuff like that. And it's very successful business. Yeah. And I interact with them, and I told them about your film, <laughs> so they're all gonna watch your film. Oh, good. So, just so good. you know, they got all excited. So and yeah, you know, their political views are like mine. We we're both. You know, we're neither Republican or Democrat. We we go with you know who's you know who's gonna be the best president, and we hope. Yeah. You know, Right. But I was very intrigued by the film. What was your What's your message to the audience? Well, you know, I don't. I mean, the, the me, you know, if I could state the message of the film in twenty five words or less, I shouldn't have made the film. The film is the message. Yes, that is correct, and that that's why I didn't read any reviews or anything. And watching the whole film, I took view that you were trying to send a message that this is working class of America. Is well, that correct? In well, a way, uh, showing I, it? I, you know, again, I'm going to resist the direct expression of right. the point of view of the film. Right. Okay. Very interesting film. Yeah. You know, and I'm when did you like it? And so it's going to premiere tomorrow night? It appears tomorrow night at, uh, premieres tomorrow night at Film Forum and it's opening up in around 40 cities around the country. Now, is it true that um, it's part of Trump's country, as what people are saying? Well, I mean, I don't. I don't I'm know talking about the town surrounding Trump's country. The town voted right. majority, more than 65 percent, roughly 65 percent, voted for Trump. How, what they're going to vote in, how they're going to vote in these elections that are coming up next week, I have no idea. There was no, there's no political discussion right, right. in the film. Because I never heard anybody talking politics. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh, I'm people not, were, people right. were just in church, in religion, church, family, um, farming, uh, farm equipment. Well, I noticed uh, that you you had sports. Yeah, you had a wedding ceremony. Right. And then you had a funeral right. ceremony. Now, did you want to? I I, I took love, life, and death. Well, those I mean, three those, it came those, to me when I saw that. Those are certainly ideas or themes that the film is dealing with, among other things. Yeah, I learned a lot, and it was a great film. Great, and, well, and, a and, nice. And, and, thank you. And I and I hope much success. This film forum here, I haven't been here since Ted Kotcheff, who's a mentor of mine. He did a film, Wake and Fright, and I saw it here, and I love this place. And That's a great film for us. Yes, great place. very successful, and I I congratulate you, and I hope it goes all over the place. Good. Now, well, thank after, you for doing the interview. I appreciate after that. After here, yeah. where is it going? Well, it's opening up in most of the major cities of the country over the next week or two. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm going to put this out on Rock Agree Radio, Celebrity Spotlight Radio. I got two platforms. Oh, great! I'm on Spotify, iHeart Radio, and iTunes. Oh, that's so, fantastic. And I'll push it everywhere because I believe in your film. I think the interaction with the people, the community, I think it's excellent. I think everyone should learn from this film. Great. That's very nice. And I... me, who grew up in New York City, and I saw this, this film, I, I, I felt like I was there.
Yeah, well, that's great. That's just the right reaction. So I thank want. you very much. Thank you. And it's a pleasure. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, and Tony Sayan, and thank you, and see you next week. Whoa!